He's come for the scroll. What is up you guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. I'm super happy to see that you're watching again. We are picking up right where we left off, right here in a slime tree. And we only needed one more level before we have Mage Claw unlocked, which is gonna be a major damage increase. And that's gonna help us out in the long run. And it's probably gonna be our main attack for a very long time until we unlock heal in our second job to start training on undead mobs and as you can see we just hit level 14 we finally can now use use a magic claw because we have improved max mp um, maximized so now we can finally use magic claw and as you can see like compared to energy bolt it's a huge damage buff what are we going to do this in this week's episode we are going to do Hennessy's party quest really cool. I have not done this party quest in literally maybe over 15 years Maybe 10 years somewhere between 10 and 15 years And it's a perfect time because so many people are low level so many people are looking for a group to do this party quest And let me tell you it's really good for farming and for grinding It definitely helps us with like so many things we get a best in slot hat we get a great bonus where we can get lots of great experience and yeah with that being said we are on a grind to get to level 70 and become a priest we want to unlock holy symbol we want to unlock all the other cool skills like magic door the dragon that helps you fight other monsters all that kind of good stuff and as you can see right here, we are just walking from Elinia to Hennesis, basically because we have no cash for a taxi and I hope you guys also <laughs> remember the time where you had to do this. Like the time where a taxi, like the 1.2k or the 1k that you have to pay to travel from one town to another was too much. But yeah, that's all part of the early game and I quite enjoy it. Let's start this Hennesis party quest. When I arrived at the party quest location, nobody was there and while I was live streaming this, some viewer suggested that I would just go to hunting grounds and train there until I found a few people that wanted to go to the, you know, Genesis party quest or the moon bunny quest, party quest. And at first I was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea, I just go to Genesis hunting grounds, I'll probably find some people and what do you know, there were like two people already training there. At first I partied up with them and once like one of my viewers from the live stream joined us we went straight to the moon bunny and started doing the party quest. It was really fun because you know it's like pretty cool to just walk into lo these low level grinding areas and always basically find people no matter what channel you're in and basically like they almost always want to party up and that's really cool because with a party you get bonus experience so i always recommend that you enter a party it's really beneficial for everyone and i might have skipped over this but as you can see i'm now also wearing the level 8 mage robes i bought those right before i left linea i thought i would wear those as well because yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get a better upgrade because I'm going completely luckless on this build. I'm not able to wear other equipments, basically like other mage equipment, so I have to find the luckless items in the game. And at the moment that's like the old raggedy cape, the sauna rope, work gloves, the stolen fence or the panlet basically. And we'll do that in future ep episodes where we'll hunt for these like <laughs> classic nostalgic luckless and some of them are also like dexless items also a bamboo head for example but like I just mentioned the Genesis party quest has some very great benefits and um, one of them being like you're able to get a very nice low level head which increases your max HP and also it has great weapon defense and as you just saw we gained another level and I think like we skipped like a few levels uh, or we are gonna skip a few levels in this episode but nothing too major I'll like hit you guys up once it's time as you can see here we were all like ready and assembled ready to go into the party quest and I'm already level 18 in this clip if I'm not mistaken so I al already have done like a few party quests the first few went like a bit bad <laughs> I can say because 
it's a bit weird normally you get these colored seeds of course and you have to plant those at the right platform in order for the moon bunny to spawn and what you used to be and what you used to do back in the day is you just drop them at the platform and that's when the flower grows but in this server you have to double click the seed even though it's a etc item pretty strange took us a little while to figure this out that's why i wasn't really recording or that's why i'm not really showing the first few pqs but we managed to become pretty efficient at it and also i noticed like back in the day there was a trick where you would just hit all the creatures with like a normal attack and then you would lure them away from the bunny and we tried that but they improved this party quest so you're not able to do this here you can't cheese this party quest you basically really have to defend the bunny from the incoming creatures and you can't lure them away with aggro and as you can see we just cleared another party quest and like a couple of people <laughs> got a level and when you talk to tony you go to the bonus stage and with a big party like this it's really recommended to do this if everyone just covers a platform you get so much experience and also these pigs they drop the pig head and you need that pig head for a lot of quests actually and it's a good early money making method because i think like at the moment one pig head is like seven or eight k and that might sound like not a lot of money but trust me it really is especially if you're really hungry for potions that's a quick tip and there does spawn a iron boar in here I think at this level only like a mage is able to defeat iron boar so you have to take that into account but if you have a mage or two mages just let them roam around the map and kill the iron boar basically we just gained another level which puts us at level 19 which means we can almost start doing kerning city pq but before we are gonna do that we are gonna get a rice cake hat and if you don't know how do you get a rice cake hat i'm gonna explain it right now it's actually relatively easy you have to farm more rice cakes basically the moon bunny he'll drop a rice cake if he's not attacked for a certain amount of time and you need 10 rice cakes to clear this party quest but you can also take these rice cakes outside of the party quest and hand those in uh, at the guy in the bunny costume outside the party quest and if you hand in 20 rice cakes you'll get a rice cake hat and like i just mentioned it has pretty good stats especially for low levels so if you have a party that is willing to do this definitely take your time to do it and this was kind of fun because i suggested to do this part and i got the rice cake hat and then we decided to do it for everyone we are in a party quest here with like five or six people and we decided to make sure that everyone got a rice cake hat that was like dedicating some time here and as you can see i just put it on very nostalgic item as well i remember getting this back in the day when this Hennessy's party quest just came out really fun and also another level we're at level 20 right now and this footage was recorded in like the first or the second day when the game came out which meant that there really wasn't a level cap for doing this party quest so you could do this quest even though you were actually over the level limit and i think the level limit was level 20 or 21 something like that and they changed that now now you can't do party quests while you're over the level limit so that's a bit of uh, bad luck if you just started playing but still worthwhile doing and we're going rapid fire here as you can see we're at level 21 right now lots of progression in this episode as well just like the previous one i really had a blast playing with viewers that were watching the stream it was so fun and easy to assemble a group as well so if you're interested in joining definitely check out my streams i stream on twitch and youtube simultaneously i have figured out how to do that <laughs> now yeah as you can see here by the way we all got a rice cake hat except one guy and we were teasing him a bit but don't worry he also got a rice cake hat <laughs> in the end but like i was mentioning you can follow me on twitch if you want to check in on the streams or you can subscribe here on youtube and you'll also get notified once i go live whatever platform you prefer also one of the party members uh, gave us the tip that we also could get a medal at the dude that hands out the medals 
and I've completely forgot about this so that's another 50 HP and 50 MP nice boost as well right there at level 21 uh, I didn't really get any great experience anymore from this party quest everyone got his or her rice cake hat so it was a good time to end this Hennessy's party quest grind also I didn't really uh, made money doing this party quest and I really needed money for potions if I was about to start doing Kerning City PQ. What I decided to do was travel to Sleepy Wood to farm out one or two levels in the end tunnel and farm some misos basically. And I was hoping to gain a few drops for me to sell so I can get some money. And pretty quickly I became level 22. And I believe I found a couple of drops like one or two equips. I was able to sell for some good profit and that allowed me to basically buy enough MP potions to start doing Kerning City party quest. And here I'm going to the sauna to basically sell my items and also buy more potions. And I also started buying at this point um, the return to town scrolls. So here I bought the return to sleepy wood scrolls. As you can see I went from 5k to 27k almost oh actually 30k then i bought 100 mp potions and basically went broke again oh i guess i didn't buy those scrolls to return to sleepy wood maybe i go to the vendor one more time and i buy them then but i'm not sure if that's in the video but without further ado we are almost level 23 and i put that as a milestone for me to go to Kerning City and start doing Kerning City party quest. So before we went to do the party quest we traveled there actually. Once again we didn't have any <laughs> return to down scrolls and also yeah spending 1k at this point in time it's, it's like one tenth of all my money. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> we traveled through the swamp and through the sewers and I actually encountered that big crocodile boss and I thought like all right I'm safe he passed me but then he just one shot at me but it was quite all right because I didn't really have that much experience because I just became level 23 and it basically helped me travel to Kerning City faster so it was actually an accident but it turned out fine and we were in Kerning City and basically found a party pretty quickly i think to find this party i used the discord if you're interested in finding a quick party join my discord group we just passed like 500 members which is quite nice but let's just sit back and appreciate this for a second doing kerning city party quest so much fun and i can't stress enough how much i am enjoying this low level grind with almost no misos it's so fun to relive those moments where you really are like struggling to get by but it's fun because everyone has experienced the same thing it's not like you're the only one that really is starving for potions that's why like when somebody decides to give you something um, in this case this person gave me 111 potions so shout out to that guy thanks for that uh, I think he was listening to my stream and I said that I was almost running out of MP potions and he was nice enough to give me some. He probably was uh, a bit richer than me at this point in time. But once again, super nice. So shout out to that guy. Especially as a mage, this first stage is actually quite nice for experience as well. Killing all these gators is really like good training. But once again, you know, they don't drop anything. So the way to break even is to hope to get a good drop in the end stage where you can basically get a lot of great rewards besides earrings that you can vendor for a lot of money you can also get scrolls and the two best scrolls you can get is a scroll for glove decks and scroll for overall armor decks those are worth quite a bit so you really want to have those but above all you want to get squishy shoes squishy shoes are basically best in slot for almost any class i think especially when you go dexless or luckless and that's a bit of a teaser for next week's episode because we are gonna do so many kerning city party quests in order to hunt for these shoes but you guys will just have to wait for that for next week 
for now we just cleared our very very first Curling City party quest and we actually got a pretty decent reward as you can see we got golden earrings or it was in the chat uh, you could see it like for one second and yeah we gained another level at the end of this episode so we're ending this episode off at level 24 I can't stress enough how much I'm how much I'm enjoying this new Maple Story server definitely feel free to join and have a great rest of your day wherever you're at and see you guys next week bye bye